Hello folks, welcome to the canal channel Jose. Today we're gonna um, show you how we replace this uh, whole spigot. And uh, it's very important in these days to save water because we're, we're going through a drought, especially in California and all the, uh, the whole world. Is the fresh water is like 1% available to us. So in the whole world, everything is salt water. So we're gonna re show you how we replace this spigot. And the purpose is, is be very basic, we're not gonna teach you how to replace it we're just going to give you some pointers on when you're replacing a spigot because it's really important that when you're replacing an item you just want to unscrew that one item you don't want to make a bigger mess for example some people just want to turn the spigot but they don't hold back on the other pipe and if you turn that that's going to turn whatever's on the ground or in the wall and then you're going to create a bigger mess that's why it's very important just to hold the pipe and turn the spigot at the, at the uh, <clears throat> threaded part of the item that you want to take off. So for that, we're going to be using the new spigot, same item, it's a 90. And then, then we're going to be using the channel locks, two of them. So one is going to be for turning the spigot and one is going to be for holding the, the pipe so it doesn't turn and we don't break something on the, in the ground, like right now, this is in the garden hose, so we don't wanna break and we wanna dig to repair them, so we don't create a mess. And also, we're gonna be using Teflon tape. Teflon tape is very important on this because it seals the threads and it creates a, a seal so the water doesn't leak out. So this is very important, not just because you thread something into it, it's gonna seal. You gotta add some sealer and Teflon tape is the best way to do it. And uh, the, it also really good because if it doesn't seal, you just take it off and redo the Teflon again, throw some more Teflon, get the old one out, put some new one in there and thread it in and hopefully that takes care of the problem. So Teflon is very important. So we're gonna show you in a close look at what we mean by um, how we replace this spigot. So what we're gonna be doing folks is we're gonna grab a pair of channel locks to grab the pipe that is coming out of the ground, hold it, and then this way. So you always wanna grab it and then you wanna grab the actual valve or the spigot with another pair of channel locks or adjustable wrench and then you're gonna only spin the spigot you want to hold the pipe steady you know if it wants to turn you want to keep it on the same place that's why you're grabbing it with another set of channel locks so you spin it <clears throat> careful <sighs> and once you start spinning it and it comes loose you don't need the other channel locks you just grab it and start spinning it off and now the spigot came off. So now what we have to do is we have to clean these threads with a wire brush, get all the Teflon off, and then put the new Teflon and put the new spigot on. So now what we do is with the wire brush, we clean all the threads, get the old Teflon out. Once we clean it, we put the new Teflon on so we can start screwing in our new spigot. So now when you clean the threads and you put the Teflon, the Teflon you want to go always like if you're threading something into it. So you want to wrap the Teflon around it this way, following the threads. The reason is because when you start threading it, the Teflon is the last piece of the Teflon wraps around following the threads like if it's tightening in itself so when you spin it, 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 it you spin the item into the teflon it doesn't undo itself so it doesn't become bad so that's it's a really good trick when you're doing a teflon so always follow the thread so when you put the teflon you put the teflon it's tight and then when you start threading the stuff into it it starts following the same pattern so it doesn't damage it so now you put the spigot and then you turn it 
as much as you can by hand so you don't cross thread this so once you get it to a clo a tight uh, area now you can start using the wrenches to tighten it and then once it's tight then we start pressurizing the the system and then we test for leaks so same thing you want to grab the pipe that you don't want to turn and then you grab the spigot with the other pipe with the other adjustable wrench or a channel locks and then you spin it you grab it and then you spin it and tighten it and you always want to make sure that the pipe that is being threaded into it you don't want to spin that from the ground or turn it more because you might break it so you always that's why when you grab it you want to keep it on in place from spinning so that way we can spin this what we're doing here is we're using the channel lock as a vise so we can hold it in place that's all you were doing we're using our muscles to keep it in place while we spin this spigot so we can get it in place and well folks we did a replacement on a spigot uh, the most important part about the replacing uh, plumbing items is because it, it is that you don't want to spin more items that you have to so you always want to grab if you want to take the spigot off you always want to grab the pipe and not spin it and spin only the item that you want to take off by hand so what we did is by using a just a, a channel locks we're using a table vise as a holding point but we're cre creating that similar item with the channel locks so we hold the pipe from spinning so we wouldn't spin it from the ground and we, we have to go in there take it out put new teflon and screw it back in so we did that so uh, there's a, that's the most important part you don't want to start screwing unscrewing parts that are in the wall because it's really hard to get in there and hold other pipes and you might spin or twist the copper or pipe and you might break it off as well and you're going to create a bigger problem so that's plumbing can be tricky but if you start just by the item that you need to replace by replacing that you don't need to get into deeper problems so if you like this video give us thumbs up share it and we'll see you soon with more videos here in the canale channel jose